I'd really like to get down to police headquarters. It's going to be a while before we can afford that, though. Um, and how is this going? I've been emptying it. Let's stop emptying it. Because, yeah, these guys are pretty full. Elementary school availability and high school availability are lower than I would like. But uh, it's it's no rush. There's no rush to get everybody educated. Let's check where our fire departments are. We only have three. That's not very good. So we really also need to get fire stations. Fire station and police station. We just need all the things. Ah, uh, yes, I wanted to dezone this industrial area. At some point, we're going to want to um, have some high density residential areas, but I'm not sure where to put them yet. It'll take a while for all that pollution to go away. Uh, in the meantime, we can at least start getting this filled in. And reconnect that beer garden to the grid. I guess these guys aren't being entertained. I can always uh, slap one down over here too. It does help buildings to level up. Boy, these layouts really don't make that much sense, do they? I think it'd be a good idea if I connected those. And then maybe even made this dense commercial. Whoops, not that bit there. And let's... Make another U-turn here. So now vehicles that supply the uh, commercial area can potentially loop back around and uh, get on the highway that way. Looks like this is all jammed. Ah, yes, people waiting to make the U-turn. That's what's causing the jam. I mean, there is a good throughput of vehicles You know, actually, one thing that can make this go a little better is if we have an earlier exit that then links to that tunnel. That'll remove some of the traffic pressure from here. And actually, really, the super best thing would be to actually give these guys their own exit... their own dedicated exit to get to the tunnel. So then people who want to make the U-turn for other reasons can still do so. People who just want to get to the tunnel can do so pretty easily. And that is starting to clear this up. Well, the tunnel's still backed up really badly. It's not backed up all the way, at least. And this is... Starting to dissolve, I think. Uh, you know, let's... Give this another option. Let's give them an option, um... To get straight onto the highway and bypass all of this, uh, noodly nonsense here. That should help traffic flow better. All right, looks like the tunnel's no longer backed up. 
Still seeing some red. Alright, this is backing up. Because of the U-turn. And this. Yeah, this wasn't my best of ideas. Let's uh, do the same thing here. Let's give you an early exit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lots of traffic's taking that already. There, now this is not going to create a light. That does not create a light. Much better. We have enough water, although somewhat narrowly. We could still use some more of those incinerators, but um, I'd like to have more money, though, before we really get into that. Uh, crime rate's okay. Schools are okay. Employment percentage is dropping somewhat, but we are building tons of industry, so there should be plenty of jobs. Oh, never built pipes down here. That was an obvious oversight. Boy, this game is really gorgeous at night. It's harder to um, see what you're doing and get stuff done, but it is gorgeous. Let's um, finish upgrading all of these to the walled highway. Reduce noise pollution a little bit. This asset over here seems to be working really well. I don't see that many cyclists. There are some. But, you know, they're doing their thing. And the pollution has disappeared. Good. So this... Still looks like prime residential land to me, all this stuff down here. Of course, there's a train over here, train tracks. Well, that's okay. I can do my own rail connections um, from this. Uh, let's grab another block for residential. Money is very positive. I think now would be a good time to get a few more incinerators going. Let's put another two up here. And I'd like to maybe get another one down here. So now incineration status... ...is a little bit positive. So we can start emptying that again. Okay, we have a bit of a snarl here. Not too bad, though. How many trucks are out? Not very many. That's the nice thing about the incineration plants. Um, they can't hold garbage forever, but they can send out tons and tons and tons and tons of trucks. So you really shouldn't ever be short of garbage trucks once you have the incinerators.
The city's functioning. I think it'll make sense to put a pedestrian path here, and then another one here. Okay, and the cyclists are able to use pedestrian crossings, that's good to know. Cool. That had a very immediate effect in terms of... Um, Oh my gosh. It's a path of death right there. But yeah, in terms of um, the paths that my pedestrians are taking, uh, this is going to kind of hold up traffic, though, doing it like that. Hmm. Well, it's not the end of the world. It seems to be working okay. I think I'm going to take a break here um, for the future. Our main goal is going to be um, actually getting into transit. Because so far we've just been building roads. They do have the bike lanes and we are seeing tons of cyclists and that's what we wanted to see. But I'd really like to play around with the new, um, not bus depot, what's it called? Bus station. And you know, it's always good to have metro stations and all that stuff. I guess we could also uh, try the taxi depot, but I think that's more for when we have some actual tourism to do. And one last thing to check, do we have? We do have the commercial specializations, leisure specialization, yeah. It's good to know. So we'll be playing around with that pretty soon too. So, uh... Wait, hold on, how are you getting your power? Oh, oh, their power's coming from the plant there. Okay, sorry. Uh, I was going to end here, but we just have to fix <laughs> that really quickly. Ugh. All right. Good night. Sleep tight, and don't let the traffic bite. Bye-bye.